We know you're a bit of a daredevil, so would you rather go base diving or spelunking in a cave underground? Base diving. Base di now, have you really? done that before? Or I, have you skydived or any of the sort? I've been skydiving and I'm like really claustrophobic, so I feel like I'd freak out. My uncle is a spelunker. He's a spelunker. A sp he spelunk. He spelunks. <laughs> <laughs> I have an uncle that spelunks, so he's my spelunkle. And I'm not doing that. I'm like, absolutely not. Well, that's absolutely impressive because you're the first person that actually knew what spelunking was. Like, we, I think we've asked one other person before about spelunking, and it was, yeah. No. Yes, hashtag spelunkle. <laughs> hashtag spelunkle. We all need one. All right. He's a yep. All right, would you rather star in the last movie you watched or star in the last TV show you watched? If you can remember either of them. One. It's not the same thing. <laughs> yeah, I guess it'll be the last TV show I watched because it was The Simpsons, you know. I think I don't think uh, I, uh, nice. I could do the voice in that. That would be my ideal. <laughs> that would be epic. Yeah, you're, you're talking to shows. yeah, two of the biggest Simpsons fans, so we are right there with you. I think we we had an episode of the show with um, Dolph Ziggler, who's like a WWE superstar, and our friend Chris Van Vliet, who's an interviewer, where we just did Ralph Wiggum impressions for like the entire hour. So <laughs> sorry to everyone that watched that, but we had fun. That's all that matters. So. Which is perfect. <laughs> yeah. It was perfect. Fun. We have fun. Yes. <laughs> I'm playing Wiggle Puppy. All right. Here's the next one. Okay. Would you rather... Only be able to sing show tunes or only be able to sing kids bop songs. <laughs> show tunes. I'm I afraid like that a kids easy. bop is in my future. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in a couple more months, girl, you better, uh, yep, order up those CDs or I don't whatever. Know. My kid's going to be. <laughs> I can't wait to hear kids bop version of WAP. Oh, it's coming. Ooh. Be interesting. Okay. Well, let's think. Well, it would just be about macaroni, like the whole song. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm not looking forward yeah, to that. Yeah, it wouldn't be. I don't know how they're going to do that. <laughs> macaroni in a pot. Macaroni. Okay, anyway, we'll move along. All right. Yeah. All right. Our next one is Would you rather only be able to dress in 1910s fashion or in 1980s fashion? I have to go with the 80s. So the 10s yeah. would be cool for a second, but then you get hot. So I think you have to go for the 80s because then you could be hot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. There, there. A lot more crop tops in the 80s, I'm sure. So <laughs> I'm going for it. I'm getting a, I'm getting a little bumpy, but that's okay. I'll still crop up. <laughs> You're allowed. All right. Here's the next one. Okay. Would you rather be cast in a film as a superhero or cast in a film as a historical figure? Man, that's a tough one. But uh, I did say I wanted to do a, a, a like an action film, but I think I would go for a historical figure. My inner artist would want the drama. Does anyone stand out to you? I picked the drama. Hell yeah. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Well, there's this lady that, I mean, I should think of something better, but all I can think about is there's this, and I can't remember her name right now, but she was like a pilot and her husband and her went around and, um, in Africa and they like shot documentaries in Africa. And oh, uh, I can't remember cool. her name right now, but anyways, she's, um, she's, she's like one of the first female uh filmmakers that there was oh Why wow that's badass yeah yeah she had like it was called like you know i mean some of the stuff she did was has probably not aged well but they really did like go to the pygmy tribe like they would go to like tribes in africa that would be absolutely not wanting to welcome them and they would end up like being friends and cool. doing it i mean they did it's a really interesting thing uh and it'll like come that. to me but anyway cool no worries all right. Yeah. That's a good one, though. Oh, God. I apologize about this what one. Would you rather have to listen to I'm Blue for 24 hours 
or have to listen to Mambo number five for 24 hours. And this is straight. You can't pause yeah. it or have it or go away. Hmm. Mambo number five. I go Mambo All right. number five. I kind of did that anyways when I was 10 years old. <laughs> so I did a mixture of that I when I was younger. <laughs> yeah. I remember when the Disney version came out and like at that time, Danica and I were taking dance classes together. Do you remember that Danica? Like they made us listen to the Disney. It was like a little bit of Daffy in my life. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was little... so bad. <laughs> I, I want a little oh, yeah. bit of Daffy in my life. <laughs> I'm good with it. So All right. Uh, here's the next one. Okay. Would you rather know how to play every instrument or know how to speak every language? Mm. I think I'd pick every instrument hmm. because then you do speak every language, right? <laughs> oh, music is universal. This does include the mandolin. So. My music is my language. <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> No, it goes back to a musical guy. That's right. that's cool. You're right. you're in good company. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I think this next one is our last one. Okay. We okay. Right. Though we already know you have a name picked out, but if you had to change it, <laughs> would you rather have to name your child after a Disney villain or after a cryptid? One of my so favorite. Uh, I mean, I think I can tell what a cryptid is. One one of my favorite I ideas that I came up with though. was she like you know respect. <laughs> <laughs> like you know Sasquatch Wiggins or <laughs> Chupacabra is Wiggins. Phoenix oh Phoenix okay Pterodactyl wait what is Yeti there's a lot of hmm. yeah I think Clementina is more fitting a little bit you know I know the like, like, like villain though because people are gonna respect her more you know nobody's gonna be like. <laughs> Oh, you know, oh, no, I can't remember anybody's name. Like, you know, Cruella de Vil, like, like, oh man, like, don't let her dog sit, but yeah, <laughs> but she's gonna be rich, but she's gonna be rich. She's gonna be opinionated. Amazing. <laughs> All right. Well, Jafar. <gasps> yeah, Jafar. We you guys know the awesome. Jafar today. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Who is that? Is that one Hades from um, Hercules? Yeah. From Hercules, totally. Oh, so underrated. And I don't know what that character's name is, but it's definitely the the guy from the Night on Bald Mountain from Fantasia at the very back. Oh, yeah, I don't know his name. Mm -hmm. I don't know that he has <laughs> a name. He's just you know the devil guy, I guess. I don't know. Cool. All right. Well, 